This is the sound system I use on the roof. The stainless steel box on top is the preamp controller. The base amp is a silicon chip design and is a totally reliable and solid performer. It uses two sets of four output transistors in parallel. Transistors used are MJL21193 and 21194 complementary transistors in TO264 packages. Uh, the transistors are rated at 250 volts, 200 watts, 16 amps continuous and 30 amps peak with an FT of 4 megs. So they're quite powerful transistors. Uh, the preamp controller has an active crossover with level controls for base the base amp and left right front back and center channels it is my design and was published in silicon chip magazine and i won first prize for this the speaker protection is also from the silicon chip design and prevents switch on thump uh, for the base speaker which is very important this is my power amp i made in thailand many years ago and you can see the fans, five fans, two on the main power heatsink, two on the um, surround sound heatsink, and one case fan. This is the main power transformer. I had to completely rewind it. It had been rewound by someone with completely the wrong choice of wire. The, the gauge of the primary was way too small and the secondary also was too small so that's completely rewound by me. This transformer is from a commercial Sony uh, amplifier, a uh, high quality transformer and this only powers the 550 watts amps for front and back, left and right and centre amplifiers. Uh, main smoothing capacitors which are 22,000 mics. This is the the board of the, the main amp which will deliver um, a solid 350 watts RMS continuous sine wave drive into 8 ohms it's currently running it's currently driving 2 ohms uh, quite happily it, the, the heat sinks do not get hot with the two fans going and uh, I'm not sure the power output into 2 ohms but it's at least 500 watts I would say. The, the main power transformer I would say can easily give 500 watts. So it's, um, the specification is adequate power. The front here is the speaker protection. The amps used for the five channel surround sound are 3M3886 which can easily deliver 50 watts into 8 ohms. I'm only using two channels and as the crossover frequency is 150 hertz they don't need to handle any bass so the speaker boxes can be small and low cost. 50 watts per channel is way more than needed for left and right channels as all the power is in the bass. The bass speaker is made of concrete and will be described in the next video.